Corby, good morning and welcome to the Crucible here in Sheffield where normal service resumes after, well, some extraordinary scenes here last night. We were just a few moments into the evening session when a protester decided to turn this famous green table orange. Now, despite an heroic clean-up effort, the cloth was deemed to be beyond repair, so Robert Milkins and Joe Perry's match had to be abandoned and the tablecloth replaced overnight. They will now play their first session this evening, and the match will conclude Thursday morning. Well, despite the drama, I'm delighted to say that Joe joins us now, and I can only imagine what was going through your mind last night when that happened. Yeah, it was just a state of shock, really. You know, you don't expect to see anything like that happen anywhere, especially at the Crucible. So didn't know what to think in the beginning, but once it was sort of all done and over, you sort of, like, tried to sort of relax about the whole situation. But it was a bit unnerving at the time. You say relax, you managed to catch the football. Yeah, it was a much less stressful evening than <laughs> otherwise would have been. Yeah, but, so we'll, we'll go again tonight and it'll all be OK. On a serious note, though, you've sucked yourself up, but a 24-hour delay, does it affect you? Well, you sort of set your preparations to play your match when you're scheduled to play. So it's, it's a little bit awkward, but, you know, it's one of them things we have to deal with it. It's the, what we've got now is the, the least disruptive way of mm. carrying the tournament on, so we'll just go with it. Well, we are delighted to have your company this morning and we are hoping for an entertaining session, ladies and gentlemen, for all the right reasons here at the Crucible because we are concentrating on the big Lazowski. <laughs> 